My project at the moment is a, a subject which surprised me and uh, is something I've been working on since the beginning of the MA and it's about my family uh, and the memories of them and um, particularly referencing my parents who died about 20 years ago. The project started when I found a huge archive of photographs which not only included my family but um, other members of the family dating back to the beginning of the um, 20th century. There were other artefacts apart from photographs. Um, I had an old chair of my mother's, a vase, I also had some items from my father's uh, family which was um, uh, a beer mug and uh, other smaller things. So I used these items in different uh, experimental ways in order to try and convey my idea of the memories I had of my family. Um, some of them being true and some of them are probably pre-imagined. I had a bit of fun with some of the images. My mother was a matriarch in the family um, and could be quite domineering um, and I played with that idea with some of my images by putting words across them which is something I'm quite interested in for future work. I looked at all aspects of life and last term I actually introduced myself into the project looking at the times as a toddler with the family and the, the memories that I, I had of that time. I have been sort of influenced by a lot of Scandinavian photographers um, and, and I'm intrigued by the use of the negative and the positive image together and also the idea of drawing on images. In most of my images, my siblings have been intentionally um, hidden because um, I have no contact with these siblings. I haven't done for at least 20 years and um, I don't feel the part of the story to me. This is a very important aspect of my project because my family um, were much older than me, both my parents and my brothers. Um, I was at least 10 years younger than any of my other family. This idea of not having a connection with my siblings is really important in this project I'm going to do. And um, I, I need to try and convey that in my images. Um, and how um, and how I can show people this. One problem I have with um, using archive images is that I um, I can't go and take a photograph of my parents again. So I'm having to reuse the images, but I'm doing that through recropping them in or using them within another image. This has caused some criticism uh, that my images. Um, pictures look similar uh, in some circumstances which is something I'm going to have to address um, and um, try and stop that happening. The following images are me trying to um, reuse the images I have in the archive um, but trying to be experimental and um, to use them in a different way, so I'm not repeating myself. I will take um, archive images and artifacts, and I'm trying to uh, marry the two together, um, so they create this memory um, that I have um, of my family. Using photo manipulation is not something I commonly did before I started this MA course. Um, but in the past two terms, I've um, 
explored the use of uh, manipulating images to tell a, a narrative. There are surprisingly few images of my mother. Um, the most have been taken when she was in her teens um, by professional photographers, it looks. And um, this image actually shows me one of those images with um, a vase that was very precious to her. And I just blended that in the foreground um, to create an anchor, as you will. I enjoy introducing a playfulness to my pictures. Um, this particular one, um, because my mother would often open her mouth when it probably wasn't appropriate, um, I thought it worked well inside this uh, 1942 poster um, and it was a little bit of a, a joke in a way. The archive contains plenty of small documents as well as letters. Um, it reminded me of the, the book Red-Headed Pepperwood where the author inserts these um, artifacts as you will um, inside the book um, and I find this really intriguing and, uh, and interesting. Under the current circumstances I think um, firstly I will produce a book which was always my intention um, and maybe an online exhibition. I'm not sure if um, things are going to improve enough to look at having a public display but maybe that will change next year. My previous projects were produced in book form um, and I was kind of thinking that these could be introduced as chapters into the final major project but um, that may change um, and I'm not certain I'm going to do that now.